I've been to Poundland again and this time it was a big one. I have got three bags of stuff. Oh my god, I hadn't been to this Poundland for ages. This was a much bigger one to my local one and yeah, I went a bit crazy. Um, there's a lot of stuff here to get through, so let's not ramble. If you're new, then thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this Poundland haul. I regularly do Poundland hauls and bargain hauls in general on my channel, so if that's your kind of thing, please click that subscribe button and stay with us for some more videos. Um, I can't help myself when it comes to a bargain. Uh, let's start off first with the bags. So I picked up two new bags. I picked up this friend's one. We were on a break. Um, I love friends and I love this bag of quote. I'm always using reusable shopping bags so for a quid I picked up this one as well which says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Obviously a Harry Potter quote, massive Harry Potter fan. If you haven't seen my mug, I oh, love it. Um, so yeah I picked those up because I hadn't picked up enough bags when I went shopping so I needed some bags to put my stuff in and they're little canvas ones, they're really good. So yeah, I'm going to now sort through and find, try and sort of categorise it because otherwise it's going to be really random. So bear with me while I do that. Okay, so I've sorted everything out. I've got massive piles now all over my bed of stuff and I've just had a quick drink of tea. So I'm going to talk through. I'll start off with food. There's always loads of food in my haul. I don't know why I can't resist when I go into Poundland buying some food. I'm going to start off with one thing that I bought and then I drank straight away. So I got this Arctic coffee and it's a caramel latte one out of their fridge section. I literally, we went shopping this morning. I was in such a rush to get out that I hadn't had a drink, hadn't had any breakfast. Um, so I picked this up to drink while I was there. It's really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, kept me going anyway during my shopping trip. So that was really nice. Recommend that. Something else which has been eaten while we've been out. I picked up these. That um, They come in a four pack, so you get four boxes. And they're Hello Panda Fun Filled Biscuit Treats. So they're li little tiny panda shaped biscuits with little panda um, prints on them and they're filled with chocolate and the kids love them so we went i took my two youngest with me today and this is like a good snack to have <laughs> it's like a little bribery oh if you go around the shops you can have some hello pandas so you get four packs for a pound you get i think it's about 24 grams 25 grams in each box and it's just like a nice little sized treat for them yeah they're really nice I think you can get these in home bargains. I've got a feeling they might be cheaper in home bargains, but I haven't been to home bargains for ages, so that will be next on my list to go to. But yeah, really like those. They're good. Something else which also got opened while we were out, we just with these bare yo-yos. Now, these are £2 each, but that's still pretty good. That's sort of what they are when they're on offer in the supermarket. So you get five packs of bare yo-yos in here, and you get two little yo-yos. They like a bit like fruit strips. Um, these are one of your five a day, and they're always fresh fruit and veg, and no like added sugars or anything in them. So they're quite good for the kids as a snack, and they really like them. You get little cards. I'm not sure if you can see there. You get little cards in the packs, and they like collecting the cards and reading them. They're always really interesting facts about animals and things, creatures. And yeah, you can collect the tokens off the packets as well and send off for a collector's kit, which I'm presuming we haven't sent off for it yet, but I'm presuming it's just like a book to put all your cards and things in. They're really excited about doing that. Um, and I think it's a great way to get them to learn about things without realising they're learning. This all started, by the way, these bare yo-yos. So I got sent a free sample of one and that was it. The kids were hooked. So yeah, we've got two boxes of those. So I'll pick those up now when I see them in Poundland. Something else, which is from the two pound section, were these uh, wheat puffs they're called now. Sugar puffs, they were always called when I was a kid. And then I think they got changed to honey puffs. And now they're just wheat puffs. But that's definitely the honey monster still on there. So yeah, there was, these were two pounds for 500 grams. What I like is that you've not got a box and a plastic bag. I always decamp mine anyway into um, cereal box, you know, the plastic reusable cereal boxes. So that was fine for me. And yeah, two pounds for those. My son has been just eating Cocoa Pops constantly for about the last year and he wanted a change. So he's uh, picked some wheat puffs, sugar puffs. I'm still gonna call them sugar puffs. Also picked up some crisps. These are some of my favorite snacks. You get eight packs in there for a pound. They're only little bags. How much is in a bag? 
you only get 13 grams in a bag but then they're only 65 calories so i usually take these as a little snack at work or with my lunch if i'm having a sandwich and then i'm still getting my crisps without eating too many calories picked these ones up as well these are really nice these are the walker's bugles and this is the southern star barbecue flavor you get six packs of these they're 20 gram bags for a pound they go down well you, you can never have too many crisps and snacks in our house you know it's a we've got three children so picked up these as well for my husband they're one of his favorite biscuits and these are only 50p in poundland they're a pound in the other bargain shops so i always pick some up when i'm in there for him I get these in every haul. If you've watched one of my Poundland hauls before, you'll definitely have seen these Jordan's Fruit Silly Bars. They're breakfast bars. They're a bit like usually with fruit and stuff in them. I mean, they're meant to be whole grain, good source of fibre with no added salt, no artificial flavours, colours, preservatives. I just think they're better. My daughter especially likes these and I think they're better for her than her eating like a Cocoa Pop bar or a Frosty's bar or whatever. So um, she enjoys them. My husband often eats them as well. So always pick some of those up. And then I've got some bread. I love that I can just pick up some bread and stuff now in, in Poundland. They do a lot of like your staples and your everyday bits and pieces. So if I'm in there, I can just pick something up that I need rather than having to go then to another shop. And we've got this soft tiger bloomer bread by Warburton's, which was a pound. And it's really nice. I like tiger bread anyway. It's a bit tastier, isn't it? And the kids like white bread rather than brown bread. So we picked up that one. And then last on the food section bit was these from Whitworth. This is Turkish Delight Fudge, Raisin and Chocolate. And this was actually in their Christmas section. Yes, Poundland's Christmas section is out already. Not everything, obviously. They've only got a small section at the moment. But I've picked these up to go in a Christmas present um, for my mum. Don't worry, she doesn't watch my videos. Um, I'm going to do her a little hamper. Um, I will probably be putting my hampers up this year. I did make a few last year as well, which I put up on my channel. And I'm going to do her sort of tea and snacks a hamper i'm going to make some biscuits with the kids and some christmas chocolates with the kids to include and then i'm going to get her some loose leaf teas and i thought these would go really nicely with it um i know she loves turkish delights and she likes like raisins and things so i thought that would be a nice little packet to put with them um there's 100 grams in there they did have other flavors as well in these like little christmasy range ones so yeah i think they look good and i've had the whitworths sort of raisiny nut biscuit selection things before and the little thin packets that you can get i think you can get a three pack for a pound in poundland and they're really nice so hopefully that will be good oh what to move on to next i have got sort of a couple of other food bits so i've got some chocolate chips out of their baking range because like i said we are going to make some biscuits for christmas um, these have got a really good date on so I can keep them for then or we can have a little practice run beforehand so they were a pound each and you get 140 grams in there we've got white and we've got milk and we picked up some star cookie cutters and um, they didn't have any Christmassy ones out but obviously you can use stars for Christmas or you can use them all year round and I just thought the kids would probably enjoy making them more with sort of a star with a, with a cutter rather than just making rounds, round cookies and things um, so yeah you get one, two, three, four, five little cutters in there for a pound. They did have some other shapes. They had like flower ones and just the plain round ones. And then they had some little metal ones, which were like dresses and shoes and sort of fashion-y, girly ones. But like I say, for Christmas, this is what I was looking for. So yeah, I thought they were quite good buy. That is it for food now. <laughs> I'll stop boring you with all my food shopping. Um, I picked up a few bits in the sort of, body care range i got the tresemme two-in-one shampoo and conditioner i have put this on my hauls before i always pick this up for the boys it is just a cleanser and replenish shampoo and conditioner 235 mils for a pound and it does my boys fine it stops them using my nice shampoos and then for my eldest son who is lazy as hell and will not use shampoo on his hair or very often forgets to use shampoo on his hair and just use his shower gel I mean, I don't know. I don't know why he does it. I found this Lynx Sports Blast, which is three in one, which is meant to be for body, hair and face. So I thought that way, even if he uses this, it's still cleaning his hair. Although I would rather he use shampoo. Um, it's like a citrusy, sporty scent. 
it is nice i like it and for a pound for a lynx i thought that was quite good they did have a few different ones they had a sensitive one and um the usual lynx scents but they were just shower gels whereas this was the three in one so i picked that up for him and then i saw this which i don't think i've seen in there before i've seen the brand in there before it's by daniel galvin jr london this is the double trouble 70 percent organic kids detangle light repel spray in citrus zing so this is 200 ml and it's just a little detangling spray for your children's hair what attracted me to it was when i saw that it was light repel spray but that it wasn't tea tree scented because a lot of the um anti-lice products always seem to be tea tree scented and i'm not a massive fan of tea tree or i just find it over pairing so i didn't spray it and scent it in the shop but i'm gonna give it a little spray now and see what it smells like oh it does just smell really like citrusy like lemony orangey yeah that's nice that's fine um so oh it has got tea tree in it but i think that orange is overpowering the tea tree because i couldn't smell it all that much um and this is formulated to be gentle on delicate skin completely sles sls and paraben free tried and tested in the salon to, to give you value with ethics it is vegan which is really good and for a pound i just thought it was it would be worth a try if you've got kids especially young children at primary school then head lice is a thing it happens all of the time and having a daughter with very very long hair and curly hair it is a pain to get rid of head lice so if i can try and repel them i'll give it a go and see if it works um yeah it just says it's intended as a deterrent and does not kill head lice which is obvious but i thought it would be worth a go and i haven't seen that in there before i have seen some of their other products in there but not this one so yeah i thought that would be worth a go i only picked one thing up from the cleaning aisle unusual for me but i was running out of polish we're doing our garage at the moment we're um, changing it from a garage into a room and we had to knock through the other week from the house into the garage or from the garage into the house to make a doorway and oh my god the dust was insane so i realized then that i was running out of polish and this is the multi-surface polish by mr sheen it's in magnolia and cherry blossom which i really love i love the scent and you can use it on wood glass metal plastic which is why i like it i tend to only use it on my wooden surfaces really i use it on my dining room table i've got a nest of tables which are wooden and the table which our tv um stand stands on in the um living room is also wooden so i tend to use it on my proper wood um on my other surfaces i will use just um Zaflora and just a damp cloth but i do like to properly polish my wood so yeah i like that one and for a pound it's pretty good you get 300 ml so from the kitchen section i picked up a colander pretty boring but i went to empty uh, one of our massive pans the other week and um realized we hadn't got a colander we must have got rid of it when we moved house and our big pans don't have like a pouring lid like our little saucepans have got the lids that have got the holes in and then there's a a lip on the pan so that you can hold the lid shut and still pour the water out this big pan didn't and a lot of my pasta went into my sink so i thought if i had a colander that wouldn't have happened so yeah i picked one up when i saw one for a pound in um poundland i picked it up especially as it was metal and not plastic thought that was pretty good just a standard colander but it's really good to look in there for like little items like that i picked up a sieve in there the other week as well when uh, our sieve broke so like just staples basics like that really good to look in poundland for what do i go on to next mm, i've got some good bits if you don't follow miss beauty budget then you or miss budget beauty rather you really really should as she's doing budget beauty month month september and she's testing out budget makeup budget skincare and she did a whole face of Poundland makeup and a couple of the items that she really recommended I was interested to try. So one of the ones that she said was pretty good was the um, duo eyeshadows and I didn't pick up the exact colours that she had. I picked up this one which does it have a oh this is noir pink it says it contains a blend of super soft powders with vitamin E crease resistant for a longer lasting wear and i just liked the really pinky color i've got a lot of nudes and i just thought a pink color would be better as it's not one that i've got and this is from their own makeup gallery range 
so and then the other color is i mean i want to say it's black and what i've seen her do on her channel is use a black shadow i think it was from a primark palette as almost like an eyeliner and i really like that idea because i'm not great with eyeliner and i very rarely have the time to spend putting it on so i thought maybe i could do that so let's have a little swatch and see what these are like um wow yeah that's pretty that's pretty good for a cheap eyeshadow and then the pink is a shimmer oh it's really soft it's quite pale i'm not sure it's even going to pick up on camera i really like that i mean would i wear them together if if i use the black as an eyeliner maybe i mean i'm sure you could maybe do some sort of smoky eye look with it but now i've got my makeup all over my hands i'm sure i've got a wet wipe here let me get a wipe and clean that off anyway so yeah a pound for the duo eyeshadows i think they'll be good i'm looking forward to using those and then she also recommended the butter me up lip butters and i love a lip crayon um i haven't had one for ages like a new one i've had quite a few in the past and i just really like them they're creamy and um make your lips feel nourished and hydrated as well as giving you a little bit of color so this one is in cappuccino there were a few shades that i liked but they're all pretty similar to lipsticks that i've already got and i thought this might be a little bit darker so that's what it looks like it is just like a lip crayon but she said in her video that they are pretty sheer i think that's quite nice in a, a lip butter because you want something nourishing and not necessarily like full color yeah that looks nice and it feels nice it feels nice and sort of silky smooth i'm looking forward to trying that for a pound and if they are good which she says they are and i trust her her judgment um if they are good i might pick up another couple because for a quid why not super cheap for some makeup uh next up my daughter as usual saw something that she liked and how can you say no to a five-year-old girl when she picks up a pen which is also a windmill uh, so it's just it's just a little biro and it's got sort of the metallic colors on the pen and it's got a little windmill on the top and she had hours of fun while with this while we we're out just blowing it carrying it around going oh look it's windy here because the windmill's going so for a quid it kept her happy and she does a lot of writing and drawing and coloring so pens are always good uh, she's got a couple of birthday parties coming up so we picked up some birthday cards i'm sure i've bought this one before and shown you before it's an emoji card and this one is super cute it's like a glittery rainbow with googly eyes and yeah for a quid each i thought they were quite good and quite nice cards and it saved me from going into the card shop to look for cards i also picked up this which i thought was really good it's a um 26 letter stamp set with a little black ink pad and I saw these on Freya Farrington's channel when she was doing some DIYs um, using some Poundland things. And I thought, I think she used it in a sort of a journal. But I thought these would be great for using on some little gift tags for Christmas when I do my Christmas cookies and chocolates and things. And I'm just going to get the plain brown um, gift tags. And then I can write things like with the stamps like saying, eat me, Merry Christmas and things like that. So enjoy all that sort of things and i thought it would look nicer in the little stamps than it would if i just wrote it and although this has got a little black stamp we have got stamps that my daughter uses for making cards and things and we've got loads of different colors we've got silver and red and green and all sorts so i thought they'd be really good and um yeah i saw her use them in her diy and they looked like they worked really well so for a quid that is really good for a stamp set i'm sure i've looked at these before the letter ones and they've been a bit pricey for like when you're not going to use them all the time i don't do things like uh, scrapbooking or bullet journals or anything i'm not sure i would use them for anything else other than like little gift tags and cards occasionally so for a quid goodbye then i saw these i think on mr carrington's channel these are little candles and they are cocktail inspired candles this one is a gin and tonic one which i can't really smell in the packaging 
I don't want to open it because I bought these for presents um, again for hampers for Christmas for my friends I'm going to do them each a little hamper a gin one for my one friend and then a sort of cocktail -y. I mean this one's a cosmopolitan just because I could smell this one it smelled really nice um, they had pina colada which smelled gorgeous as well and what else did they have cosmopolitan pina colada there was definitely another one i can't remember what it was these are a pound and i just think the packaging is really nice and these little uh, brown boxes with the gold lettering and they're in little glass jars they're quite a good size and i just think it's quite quirky with the little cocktail theme and yeah i'm gonna build them both a little cocktail inspired gift basket for christmas this year so those are those and they were a pound each i just think they don't look like they're pound candles i think they look much better than that then i mean what can i say i got sucking in and i bought another basket this one was only a pound the one in my last haul was two pound but was obviously bigger i just really liked the sort of zigzag design and i am trying to just be smarter with my storage and to keep things in little baskets and trays so that it's kept neat and tidy and yeah I love a basket I love a jar I love any sort of storage so I get sucked in all the time I think they had these in the black which I've picked up I think they also had grey and sort of a baby blue colour I'm not sure if you can get any other colours those are the ones that are in my store yeah it's a basket, but I really like it. And Poundland are doing good baskets at the minute for the price. The bigger one that I picked up was £2, and I've seen similar in other stores for a lot more. So if you're looking for storage baskets, then go and check Poundland out. <laughs> and then last but not least, I picked up a couple of books for Christmas. I picked up this one for, well, they're both for my middle son. This is an unofficial fortnight annual and yes, if your child is anything like mine, they're obsessed with Fortnite. And this just gives you like little tips. It's like a building guide. Um, what else is in here? On target. I mean, I don't know. He'll love it though. And if it's encouraging him to read, then I'm all for it. Any sort of reading I think is good. Whether it be comics or like things like this. Um, then I'm all for encouraging that. This RRP's at seven ninety nine, and I picked it up for one pound in Poundland, so that will go away for Christmas for a little present for him. Then this one I was super super impressed with. I've looked at these before and always am denied about them because they're always a bit expensive. This book RRP's for twenty pounds, and it is a big book. This is Ripley's Believe It or Not, and this is the two thousand and nineteen edition. Um, and it's basically like a weird and wonderful fact book. It is huge. It is super colourful. There's like really weird facts in here, strange stuff. And then also like really cool, like really cool stuff like about historical things. And I just think he'll, my eight year old will really love this and really love all the weird and wonderful facts in here. And again, encouraging him to read, encouraging him to you know learn and find things out um and yeah look some lightsaber star wars stuff he'll love that um yeah it's great it's a massive book and i'm sure at christmas these you know annuals are usually on offer but not normally a 20 quid book for one pound so even if this is last year's edition the 2019 it might be i think that is still a really really good buy and i think he will love 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 that so two books for him for Christmas. And yes, I have started my Christmas shopping. I'm not sure if you think that is early or whether it's, you know, too soon. But I have three children to buy for and spacing it out over a few months is much easier. I tend to start buying Christmas presents when I start shopping for my daughter's birthday. And she, her birthday is the beginning of October. So yeah, I start then and do a little bit each month. And then it's not a mad rush at the end of you know the beginning of december thinking i've got to get for everyone so i'm being super organized this year let's hope it continues and i'm well and truly finished and can enjoy december i like to do loads of christmasy stuff with my kids in december and enjoy it rather than be panicking about present buying and stuff anyway that was a long poundland haul that was a lot of money i spent i mean 
I bought some drinks as well for the kids, which they've obviously drunk and I haven't included it in this haul. But I spent uh, 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 £30 and I had a £2 voucher. So I spent £32 if I hadn't had my voucher. That's a lot of money at Poundland. But like I say, it was a good one. I haven't been to this one for ages. It was a big one and I found loads of stuff that's not in my usual store. So yeah, let me know what your favourite things were. Let me know if there's anything you've seen in Poundland that you think I would like that I haven't picked up. Maybe your store has got stuff that mine hasn't. I would love to know. Leave me a comment down below. I love chatting to you guys. And if you are new, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.